The Center Horse Project on the Lolo National Forest is the most recent addition to the Landscape Restoration Index. The project is located on the Sealy Lake Ranger District. It's approximately 61,300 acres. The notice in the Federal Register states that they intend to prepare an environmental impact statement on restoration activities. It includes in the list vegetation management, road and trail management, watershed improvement activities within five different drainages on the Sealy Lake Ranger District. Center Horse is, in a sense, an offering within an offering is part of the one and a half million acre southwestern crown of the continent CFLRP project, Collaborative Forest Landscape Restoration Program. Center Horse is located about 20 miles southeast of Colt Summit, another low, low national forest project that has received quite a bit of media attention due to appeals and subsequent litigation by two environmental groups. As a result of the federal district court's decision, many have speculated on whether or not the collaborative effort will be a success in the southwestern crown of the continent. If you read the judge's decision, he was actually quite supportive in terms of affirming 11 of the 12 issues raised. The hot button issue was that of a cumulative impacts analysis of the project on lynx habitat. And essentially, the decision said that the environmental assessment did not include one. There was no catalog of historical events or potential future uh, projects and what the cumulative impact would be on lynx habitat. And so that part of the decision was remanded to the Forest Service for further analysis and to determine, based on that analysis, whether or not an environmental impact statement was necessary. And to identify a a truly ground-to-earth example, there was a summit salvage sale that was implemented that uh, is within a mile or two of the Colt Summit project, and the environmental assessment uh, did not include that or any other recent activity. So assuming all is resolved uh, in the due diligence on both the Colt Summit and Center Horse projects, what would their relative contribution be with respect to the Southwestern Crown prospectus that was proposed and, and accepted in 2010. Well, this column chart uh, is a way of expressing that for just four of the metrics of the, of the project. 100% uh, off to the right of the graph is, uh, it represents what was proposed in the CFLRP proposal. Uh, the vegetation treatments are on the top, Harvest volume in terms of commercial saw log volume is the second item. The number of stream crossings replaced or improved is the third item. And the bottom is the miles of roads decommissioned. So in, in a quick overview, this, at least for these four metrics, it will show you the relative contribution of each of the two projects. And remember that we're comparing a Colt Summit 2,000 acre action with a center horse project that is 61,000 acres within which 16,500 acres are proposed to be treated with uh, vegetation restoration treatments. So I think one of the questions is not whether or not collaboration will be a success, but maybe more appropriately is where should collaborative efforts focus? What is the appropriate scale of landscape restoration offerings uh, in order to uh, justify their time and the time of the Forest Service? That's the landscape news for July 27th. Thank you.